There you are. Come on, we have to get going. This time I'm taking you on a journey. Let's go. Hi guys and welcome to Barcelona. Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial on Postman. I'm just back from a conference in Barcelona, just in case you're wondering what's the deal with the intro. In a series of videos I will show you how you can automate your API tests written in Postman by using a tool called Newman and integrating them in a continuous integration server like Jenkins for example. And there will be a series of videos where I will take you step by step during the process. and. Make sure you stay until the end of this video because we're going to have a contest and you can win an online course that I created. So the contest will be right at the end. So make sure you follow up with this video. Now one last thing, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification icon to stay up to date with all the videos that I'll be posting in the future regarding Postman or API tests or testing in general, continuous integration and much more please click that subscribe button, you're doing yourself a favor. Now, let's get started with this tutorial. So when we're discussing API testing, there are basically two ways on how you can go. On the right side, you can take the way of automatic API testing. And on the left side, you have, of course, manual testing. And this is the direction that we generally want to go. We want to automate things. And in order to do that, we already have some possibilities. Now, the thing is, so far you're probably using Postman to have your collections inside to write tests, to manually test things. And you probably now have written some tests and you want to go to the next stage where you can automate the execution of your collection of your tests. And there are multiple ways on how you can do that. Of course, built in in Postman, there's a collection runner which provides some sort of an automation and there are the Postman monitors which we'll discuss in other videos. Now in this video, this makes possible to integrate it any continuous integration server. And that piece of software is called Newman. And as you can see in this image, Newman is the gateway to all these other tools that you can use. And this is why it's first important to understand how Newman works. And then next we'll have a look on how to integrate in one of these continuous integration server and to automatically run tests there. Now, in case you're wondering why is automation important? Why should you do that? What is wrong if you can put it that way? Why shouldn't you manually test your API and that's it? And there are a couple of reasons why you should pay attention to automation. So the first and most important thing is that automation reduces repetitive work. So think in terms of manually testing your API every time something changes in the development. And this takes time, takes effort and most importantly it takes attention to see if there are any bugs or see if the API is performing differently. The second is that when you're doing automation, you will get instant feedback when something does not work anymore. So if you have API tests in place, once the Postman collection is executed, then every time the collection runs, so for example, imagine that every time a developer makes change the code, you start the API collection, you start the API test collection to see if everything is working. If that particular commit introduced the bug, you'll get instant feedback on it identifying the problem. And it's important that you would be very fast at this process. So you know, maybe in a matter of minutes, right after the commit happened, that something goes wrong. And regarding that part, it comes a third advantage that you will have is that you will be able to identify software bugs very early in the development process. So there's no need of deploying a piece of software to a test system or to a pre-production system if you already can identify pretty early that you have some bugs there. And this should not end up on a production server, more importantly. So now that we have cleared what are the advantages, let's see exactly what you are going to do in all these tutorials. 
So in the first video, we'll have a look at the installation and we'll install Newman and make sure that it works on your own machine. And then in the second video, we'll have a look at a more advanced usage of Newman so that you can understand the ins and outs of Newman and how it works. And third, we will use Newman in order to integrate with a continuous integration server. In this case, we'll be using Jenkins because it's a very popular, but the principles that I will be showing in Jenkins apply to any other continuous integration server as well. Now we have talked so much about Newman, but what is Newman anyway? And to put it very simple, Newman is just a CLI tool which allows you to run a Postman collection directly from the command line, directly from the terminal. And for your own machine, this isn't a particular advantage, but think again in the direction of continuous integration and automation. You cannot automate Postman as a tool itself. It always needs manual interaction. But for systems like Jenkins, we need this tool in between that can understand the Postman collection, can run the tests that are inside it, and can give us information if everything was inside there is working as we expect. And this is why this is the gap that Newman fills in and it offers us this possibility. Now, in order to install Newman on your own machine, you need to have two things installed already. So you need to have installed Node.js and NPM, that is the Node Package Manager. What Node.js offers you is this runtime environment where Newman can run. And if you do not have them installed in your machine, you will not be able to use Newman. And I will be posting in the description in this video links to tutorials that explain how you can install Node.js NPM on Windows, on macOS or on Linux. This is not part of this tutorial because it's some different from system to system. And if you already have done some work using Node.js or NPM in the past, you may already have them installed on your own machine. So I will start with the assumption that you have managed to install Node.js and NPM. So let's now open a terminal and find out if you have Node.js and NPM properly installed. So I open the terminal and I'm gonna type in node dash dash version. And this is the version from node that I have installed. It's probably not the newest one. I would suggest that you have a recent version, but for me, this will be fine at this point. And I will also check if I have NPM installed. That is npm dash dash version. And npm is installed as well. Okay, now that we made sure that we have Node.js and npm installed on our machine, let's go ahead and install Newman. And this is the command that we need to type in. So we'll be using npm, the node package manager, to install a new dependency. And that flag minus g tells the command to install Newman globally. So Anywhere you open a terminal on your machine, you will have Newman available and this is probably what you want to do. So let's go back to the terminal again and install Newman. Okay, so everything seems to work properly. I even get this message that my NPM is not up to date. I don't have the latest version, but that's totally fine. I managed to install successfully Newman, but just to make sure that it works, I will type in Newman dash dash version. And now what the command line will return is the current version of Newman that I have installed. Now, Let's give Newman a try and see exactly how it works. And for that, I already prepared a collection in Postman. So let me open that. And this is a very simple collection that contains some requests and some tests inside them. There's nothing very special. And I will be posting a link in the description as well. And I can still check that all the requests are working properly, that the tests are executing. And that's not a part that we are interested in, but I will go here and share this request. And I have the possibility of getting a link directly to this request. So if you do not see a link here, you can just generate a link. I'm just going to copy it to my clipboard and open the terminal again. 
let me clear this for you now in order to execute the request that we have seen in postman by using newman we have to type in the following command so we're gonna start with newman and this is always at the start and the command that executes a collection is called run so this is the command and then this command takes a parameter an argument and the argument is the collection that we want to run and there are multiple ways on how you can specify a collection one of the fastest ways is to just type in this link which Newman will access download the collection and then execute it so let's now hit enter and that worked pretty fine and you will see here that listed are all the requests that we seen in postman previously and all the requests has been executed and right after each request you will see that the tests have been executed as well and there were four requests eight test scripts and none of them failed so everything worked fine so once again in order to execute a collection in postman in this case by having this link you'll type in human run and then the link to the collection as generated by postman if you have managed to get this step running that's totally fine if you have any problems or get any errors just leave a comment in the section below and i'll do my best to help you now as i promised in the beginning we'll have a small contest at the end of this video and we reached the end of the first video in this series and if you want to win an online course on postman has like over 10 hours of postman videos and tutorials explaining all the ins and outs in postman and if you are one of the three first viewers of this video to respond correctly to this contest to this exercise basically you will win and what do you have to do you have to follow the steps as you have seen me doing in this video so you have to install node you have to install npm on your computer you have to install newman on your computer and then you have to run this collection and once you have done that make a screenshot of the execution as you see it in the terminal as you see it in your command line tool make a screenshot of that upload it somewhere and send me the link as a comment below this video and if everything looks good and i get what i expect from you then i will send you a coupon code to the course and you will be able to register so good luck trying the exercise and i'm looking forward to seeing you inside the course guys this is all for this week make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below tell me if everything worked out for you as i have described it in this video thank you for watching and see you next time